You like hanging out with the pond guy? Yeah. I like hanging out with you too, bud. What do we have here? Is this a pond or a pondless, Chase? A pondless. That's right. That is a pondless waterfall. So this is a brand new, just tell it just went in, and it's full sun. So what do we got here, buddy? We got a front yard bubbling rock. And here we are, a beautiful bubbling waterfall. Oh, what a cool house, too. I love the view from the house looking back out here. $30,000 Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. Just do it. 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 Just yeah, you Little man, that's a good kid right there. This is a project that just got built, obviously, yes. with a hydro seat. Ben just finished it up. And it was for a customer who's in a wheelchair, which is, I think, probably why they have this. And they got a pond? I don't know what they have. Okay, well, yeah. you're going to find out when yeah. I find out, too. Hello. Hello. I love it. Thank you. I'm Weston. It's nice to meet you. And I'm the pond guy, Greg Whitstock. Hi. And you are? Michelle. Michelle, hi. Thank you for letting us come over. When did this project get finished? You're not recording me, are you? No. Okay. You are. <laughs> So to give you some, okay, very recently. So to give you some context, Greg is the owner and CEO of Aquascape, and he's here in town from Chicago, okay. visiting nice. our projects. And, we, and Ben was telling me like, and he's like, you got a great story, you got a cool water feature, and all right, okay. let's go see. I love it. Always fun to see new water features and meet new people. We're still in the process of moving in. Oh, did you just move here? The house got remodeled. Okay, because of the accident. Because of the accident. So a month ago we moved back in, but we're still. Okay, I got it. Oh, hello, everybody. How are you? Daughter Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Bruce, mother Carol. Hi, Hello. mother. Hi, wow. All right. Can you catch this fella's name. This is my son, Chase. He's Chase. five years old. Hi, Chase. Five. And, awesome. and Chase, what do you say? Hello, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wanted the sound of water? Yeah, we wanted that first started. It started with the landscaping. You know, we wanted to put a screen in. And then we said it would be nice if we had a water feature, as we saw one over at Legion Park. And after the water feature, then we talked about putting in a patio to enjoy it. Once the patio was going in, and Michelle mentioned that she would like to have a swing. So it's like the old lady who swallowed a fly. Yeah, just kept yeah. going. <laughs> and I have a feeling you'll enjoy the water even longer, even more hours than Bruce. That's possible, yeah. So this is a recent thing, the wheelchair? Yeah. I recognize this. Ben was sending me pictures. With a car accident. A bike accident with a car. The car hit the bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Such a challenge. And are you looking at bridesmaids' dresses? Dresses for her, actually. Oh, you're getting married? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, you're getting married. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, it, one of my favorite things to do is actually pick out bridesmaids dresses. I'm really good at it. Why are you laughing, Weston? I'm not laughing at all. Nope. <laughs> Walking so much. What is it called? Uh, mold? Mulch. Mulch. Have we been walking a lot today? But what do you like about doing the pond guy's job and vlogging? What do you think is fun about it? I just like it. You like hanging out with the pond guy? Yeah. I like hanging out with you too, bud. What do we have here? Is this a pond or a pondless, Chase? A pondless. That's right. That is a pondless waterfall. So this is a brand new, just tell it just went in, and it's full sun up there. So you're gonna get string algae, and anytime you get string algae, an easy way to solve it is A, pull it out, but B, if you just put in a simple little eye gen system right underneath there, it would eliminate all the string algae. So I'll put a link to the eye gen there. What a gorgeous design. You can see the room that we were just sitting in. This is going to be where he spends a lot of his time. This whole backyard was created. This is the swing they were talking about, so that they could spend time at home dealing with the challenges that they've got, and with the wheelchair but look at this once again and i do this all the time look at how inviting this space is fire pit going in decorative water feature versus that space which one would you rather spend your time in here or here just an incredible property so here's a fake rock that hides everything so we have an automatic ghoster in here and we actually do have an iron gym okay so let's see it we're just going to turn it up a little bit because there's no fish so you just push the plus button there we go that makes it hot or we're putting the ion gen higher so that we get more copper ions in the water that will break apart the string algae. You got one of these too? Yeah. Yep, so it's at eight now instead of five. And so now what you don't want to do with the ion gen is turn it up if you don't have any string algae and especially if you have fish. A brand new pond, some string algae. We just turned that up to eight. Cover it up, Chase. We'll tell them that we're going to fix their problem and that string algae will literally break apart and be gone in a week. Perfect seat.
It's on eight now, so just turn it down when it goes away, and then turn it up when it comes back. Okay. Lost a minus button. You need to show me again. Here, I saw one time. So. I just did it. So are you happy with the guys at Tussie? Very, so. very much. Right to your backyard, 365 days That's a year. Right. So you were both equally yoked and relying to the peacefulness of water. Oh, absolutely. The yeah. ions that it generates. And Negative ions. You bet. She would like Ed Ballou, the pond yeah, professor. Ed, Ed, Ed well, good luck with everything that you're going through and good luck with your daughter's wedding. Thank you. Well, yeah. I'm fine. Very exciting. So many people deal with so many things and the challenges of life and to be able to bring some joy and peacefulness with uh, water that, as she said, we love water and now they get to enjoy it at their house every single day. Oh, dude, we should take the steam engine ride down here. Yeah. So what do we got here, buddy? We got a front yard bubbling rock, which actually did really good on YouTube for us. And Matt and Reynolds just built a 16 by 21 koi pond. Oh, back. I finally got a pond. <laughs> All right, and here we are, a beautiful bubbling waterfall. You got scared with that. Okay. So front yard, water feature, and then how long ago they built the pond in the backyard? This summer. Nice, so it's new. Wow. Look at this. Chase, what do you say? I love my job. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cute pup. That's an old fellow right there. Cute little dog. He left me. Did he? Yeah. What's up, Pooch? Wow. This looks gorgeous. So you guys did the hardscape, I'm yeah. guessing, too. Look at these little chairs sitting out here. Oh Chase, God. that chair's perfect for you. Go sit down. Take a break. Right on the map, this. Wow. Really so this is a first year pond. Yes. What happened? Got a banana tree in there. Just a bio falls up top, skimmer on one side. Oh, what a cool house too. I love the view from the house looking back out here. This is our $30,000 toy pond. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. It's a package then. Yeah, 16 by 21 with a 12 foot stream, underwater lighting, docent system, all the bells and whistles. So 30,000 turnkey system. That's correct. And a lot of stone, what do you have probably it's, uh, 20 I tons? Look. I don't think it's quite 20. Okay. Yeah. Hello. What's the dog's name? Nugget. Nugget. Because he's a chicken. He's a chicken, <laughs> chicken <laughs> nugget. So we saw your front yard water feature. Yeah, I'm Weston. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi, I'm Guy Greg. Nice to meet you. And you are? I'm Barbara. Barbara, how did this all come about? Because this is not what somebody normally would do in their backyard. No, I love fish and I've always wanted a koi pond. So this is something that you thought that someday you'd get one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, most of the people I know that have a koi pond don't, you know, after a couple of years, they're not as much fun anymore. So I wanted a really nice one. And you wanted I, to hire a professional to do it that knows what they're doing. Yeah. We have friends who have a koi pond that these guys did 20 some years ago. Our friends that bought the house, the house was sitting vacant for a year. All the fish live. The koi pond is beautiful. So you knew so, that this company could do yeah. it, right? And are you happy? Oh my God, we love it. <laughs> what do you do to enjoy this lifestyle? How does it work? Well, for you? with COVID and all the supply problems, we don't have the furniture yet, but we live out here now. It's made our house bigger. Because it's expanded the livable area of your yeah, house. I mean, we spend my days on the porch. Yes, it's, listening to that sound. Right. We have the bedroom window open. You can see we can hear the water feature. We had our air conditioning unit moved around the corner of the house so the sound wouldn't be yep. here with the water. Yep. Look at it. It's I mean, beautiful. It's gorgeous. And how has the maintenance been? I mean, there's no maintenance, really. You just empty the skimmer? Yeah, I mean, after the leaves out. Yep. So it's like having somebody cut your lawn for you and you just have to empty the basket that sits alongside of it. It's not any big deal. Right. I have to make sure my grandson doesn't bounce on that rock. Because <laughs> it's a hollow rock. They do. They're brand new fish, so they got to learn to get heat out of your hands. She wants to make it bigger. <laughs> so funny. Big, bigger, biggest. Good, better, best. And this is pretty big and pretty darn good. She still wants it bigger.
grandson, and how old is he? He's five. And how does just he just turned five? What does he do with it? Oh my gosh, he loves it. Well, he helped them build it. They put up with his help every day. And he's five. And he's five. And we know that five-year-olds can be a big hassle, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> He wasn't too much of a hassle. He stayed out of the way when they had the big, you know, the back hose and stuff. So does he like coming to Grandma's house and getting in the water? Yeah, he does. He swam in there every day. That is awesome. That's what it's supposed to be for. And the fish, we only have two fish in there now because, you know, the season will wait till next spring to get some more koi. But yeah, so the fish hide when he goes in. And I bet you it looks nice at night with lights. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. We've had almost everyone that walks by takes a little trip. Yeah, because they're not used to seeing something more hearing. They, they probably hear it and then look back here. We've gotten lots of compliments. How long have you lived here? 10 years. So this, in 11 years, this was a big change, huh? It was a huge change. But it looks like it's always been here. Which is amazing because it's only one year. When all of these plants start to mature and grow, it's just going to get that much nicer. It, it hasn't even been here maybe two months. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep, it was a new project. And they did this in 10 days. That's impressive. And that Ooh. includes the patio too, right? Yeah, it includes this whole patio. Yeah, yep, gorgeous. We love it. We absolutely love it. That little area there is where we sit with our legs in. Oh, Okay, yeah, they got a little butt rock. We call that a butt rock. How did you find them? Because you had a, a friend of yours that bought a house in a Tussie system. We didn't know that until we did our water feature. We wanted something that wasn't going to break. The front yard water feature. And we got that just for the sound. Yes. We spend a lot of time on the front porch in the summer. It just makes the whole porch seem cooler. Right. Does he like the water? He does not. Looks like he might be drinking out of it. Oh yeah, well, everybody drinks from this. The only time he's gotten in was he chased a raccoon across the pond. What do you mean everybody drinks from this? All the animals? Oh, oh yeah, the raccoons, the squirrels, the birds, the deer, the turkeys. Oh yeah, wild turkeys. A huge flock of wild turkeys. It was an anniversary gift for my husband. Oh, nice. And he had envisioned how beautiful it would be. I did not think it would be this fantastic. That's awesome. So he enjoys it too. You were the impetus, but he loves it as well. He loves it. Well, he really likes more of the water feature and the sound. Yep, and He's you're the not fish. He's big a fan of the fish, but... Oh, he'll get there. Trust me. He'll be naming them. That's oh, how it happens. Yeah, they're named, and I don't have to feed them. Well, they're eating the have... algae. Just two fish in a big pot like this. They'll right. eat the insects and the algae. It's an ecosystem. So 11 years living in the same house and put in a water feature just two months ago and it's already changed how they use their house, which is why we say a water feature turns a house into a home. It, well, there's nothing that you can put in the landscape that will draw people outside and deposit them for hours on end like a water feature will. People will not sit there for hours on end and watch their tulips grow, but they will sit there for hours on end and feed their fish, watch the birds come down and bathe in the stream and relax by the waterfall. If you're interested in living the aquascape lifestyle too, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape conjurer just like Tussie by you. I love my job.